Something very special was discovered in Madera County in May of 1993 at the Fairmead Landfill, fondly known to Maderans as the dump. A heavy equipment operator was scraping dirt when he saw some unusual coloring in the soil. He stopped the scraper and called his supervisors. They knew it was something out of the ordinary and geologic experts were eventually called in. The result? A fossilized mammoth tusk with an estimated age of half a million years. Finding a huge deposit of fossils was a mixed blessing for Madera County. The county of Madera now had something that was very unique and special that no one else had. But now the county had the daunting task of trying to preserve and store these fossils and treat them in the proper scientific manner according to California law. After many weeks of digging, more fossils were discovered and paleontologists from UC Berkeley reported that the fossils found at the Fairmead landfill are from the Middle Pleistocene era, 280,000 to 780,000 years ago. It is a very big fossil deposit, covering more than 25 acres. Most fossil finds are much smaller, usually less than one acre in size. The Fairmead fossils are considered one of the most significant fossil beds for the Irvingtonian period in the western United States. Prior to this find, that particular time was without a good fossil record, so this was a very important scientific discovery. You know, paleontologists hunt for fossils because they still have that same fascination even though they started out with it as kids usually and they start putting some science to it as well. So you hunt for fossils to learn more about certain species of animals or to learn about the animal communities that lived in the past. And what I find exciting here is that we have this extremely diverse fauna. And this, this one, this landfill deposit has produced um, mammoth, two kinds of horses, two kinds of camels, um, three kinds of ground sloths, dire wolves, saber-toothed cat, scimitar cat, cheetah, little tiny antelopes, slightly bigger antelopes, and lots of small animals like turtles and things like that. So it's over 35 species that come out of here. But that, that litany of large animals, that long list of big animals we have here, is very much like the diversity you see in the Serengeti plains of Africa today. It's not quite that diverse, but it's really quite close. The geologist examining the Fairmead site determined that the landfill is located where prehistoric rivers came down from the foothills, a part of the Chowchilla River alluvial fan. The area near and surrounding the water teemed with life hundreds of thousands of years ago. The Fairmead landfill eventually was constructed over a river of bones. Since the first mammoth tusk was found in 1993, over 14,000 fossils have been recovered from the landfill. One of the other important characteristics of this site is that it contains fossils from such a variety of animals, large and small, carnivores and herbivores. This diversity of specimens gives us a picture of what life was like almost three quarter of a million years ago in the Central Valley. California State University Fresno was contracted by Madera County to do the paleo monitoring on the active dig site at Fairmead. They provide monitors and paleontologists to supervise and document the dig site activities. If we take a look at the initial discovery uh, at Fairmead Landfill, that occurred in May of 1993 when the county was excavating a new five acre expansion cell. And because it's on public land, they called the University of California Museum of Paleontology to come down and look at it. And we came down and looked at it. And uh, we said, well, you got fossils here, it's on public land, it needs to be excavated. And so we uh, worked on that for a couple of weeks. The fossils weren't running out, uh, even though we told the county that the, the fossils would probably be excavated in, in two weeks' time. And uh, you know, here we are 16 years later and fossils are still being found. With assistance from Dr. Dundas and many volunteers, the San Joaquin Valley Paleontology Foundation was organized to help bring the excitement of the Fairmead fossil find to the public. The foundation provided opportunities to residents and school classes to tour the dig site, clean and prepare fossils, and hear more about this extraordinary scientific discovery. Another founding member of the Paleontology Foundation is Dr. Dwayne Furman. You may have seen his articles in the Madera Tribune as he has written quite extensively on the subject of the fossils at the Fairmead landfill. 
Many community volunteers have stepped forward to help, however they could, with this very important project. The San Joaquin Valley Paleontology Foundation, in partnership with the County of Madera, actively pursued several grants to build a fossil discovery center. Imagine a fossil discovery museum for people in the community of Madera and all the Central Valley to enjoy, in which to take pride. We had a unique opportunity in Madera County that no one else had anywhere in the Western United States. After many months of work by the grant writers and volunteers, three grants were awarded to the County of Madera and the San Joaquin Valley Paleontology Foundation. The county was designated to build a facility and the foundation was to provide the educational activities within the Discovery Center. Madera County purchased four acres of land at the southwest corner of Avenue 21 and a half and Road 19 and a half for the site of the new Fossil Discovery Center. Once constructed, visitors to the Fossil Discovery Center will be able to look around and imagine the world of the past. Visitors will be able to imagine herds of prehistoric horses galloping over the Central Valley, giant beasts like Columbian mammoths, giant camels, saber-toothed cats, giant bears and sloths clustered around a watering hole. They will also be able to see in real time how fossils are dug out of the ground and preserved. The foundation wants this to be a hands-on visitor experience. The museum will webcast information and activities and articulate with educational institutions around the world. School children will attend field trips at the Fossil Discovery Center from all over the state. The people that will benefit the most will be the people from the Central Valley and more specifically the Madera community. They will be able to come for the day and enjoy all the exhibits and activities offered at the Discovery Center, a positive family activity that all can enjoy. These fossils are priceless resources that the Madera community will be known for for years to come. It is extremely important to preserve these fossils for future generations. It is projected that digging and excavating fossils at the site will continue for another 20 years. Here are some suggestions on how you can help with the Fossil Discovery Center. You can become a member of the San Joaquin Valley Paleontology Foundation. You can join as a business, family, or individual. Make a one-time donation from your organization or place it on your budget as a reoccurring donation. Be a major donor to the foundation and have your name as a sponsor on an exhibit. You can host a fundraising event or even host a house party. Volunteer. We need volunteers and docents to prepare fossils, lead tours, help with other educational programs, as well as foundation business. For more information on how you can help the Fossil Discovery Center, please go to www.maderamammoths.org. So please join in this significant project. Have some fun, learn something new, get involved, and help with the development of the Fossil Discovery Center of Madera County, coming soon to Highway 99 and Avenue 21 and a half. This is an exciting opportunity for everyone in our community. Be a part of it.